Hey guys, welcome back to another swatch video. So in this video, I'm going to swatch for you Violet Gloss HG Fun Size Palette. Oh, I thought it showed the colors, but on the box it shows the colors. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to see this video, just keep watching. The Violet Gloss Palette um, comes, the Fun Size Palettes come with two, four, six, eight, ten Fun Size Shadows. Um, Unfortunately, they do not say the names. So I guess we're going to just leave it here as we swatch. Um, let me see, is there any way that this could be propped up? No, so we'll just leave it down. All right, let's get to swatching. So I'm gonna start with this color right here, the little, um, the kind of caramel-y color. Caramel, really Patricia, the kind of vanilla color. All right. Oh, yeah. When um, I did my video on this, I did notice that there was a lot of fallout on this, uh, with this palette. So, just trying to see if I can get it here with that first color, violet color. Ooh, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. And I found that I had to do a lot to get the color to show up on me. So, ooh, that doesn't look real good, but look real good. It looks like I just threw some flower on me. But anyway, that's that creamy color. Next thing, I'm, next one I'm gonna swatch is the one right next to it that looks like a uh, light brown color. Okay, so showing up kind of pink on my skin. Ooh, and it is a lot of fallout. I don't know if y'all, if that came up on the screen that, oh no, you can't see it, that like a bunch of the makeup just dropped. I mean, the eyeshadow just fell on the table. All right, well, you can see it if you see the palette. Um, let's see. Next one I'm gonna try is that gold color right there. Let's try the gold one and see if we get better results. Okay, less fallout, I think. Yeah, less fallout. Hmm. So it looks like to me that we like you'd have I'd have to add like fix plus to the brush and then apply. Okay, this fallout is really getting to me. But um yeah, so I'm thinking, oh, it shows up kind of okay on the camera. Now that I'm, I can, I'm taking the um, palette and use, like I said, using it, as I said in my other one, I'm using it as a camera, as a mirror, so I can make sure that you guys are seeing what I want you to see. Um, okay. It looks better than it looks over this side. The next color is a orange color. I'm just gonna swatch that right next to the gold color. Okay. All right, so the mattes need a little bit of work. A little finesse, finagling and finessing. But oh, when the camera is showing up a lot better than it's showing up over here. I don't know if you can see that <laughs> flying in the air. We're not gonna talk about the fallout. Mm -mm just gonna leave it alone next color whoop, is this brown color right here it's a dark brown now I did use it in my um, outer V area when I did my makeup look with this palette mine is the okay the fallout is getting to me so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore I'm just gonna say yeah the next color is like a pink champagne -y color I'm on the bottom row. Wait, why my swatch is so big though? <laughs> All right. Okay, that's cute. There we go. That's cute. All right. Next one is a even darker pink color, but it's still light pink, if that makes sense. 
shimmer pink. Okay. The next color, I'm not sure what to call this color. Is it brown? Maybe it's a shimmer, a brown shimmer. Let's see how it looks when I apply it on my skin. <laughs> it looks invisible. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, it's a brown. Okay. All right, I see brown color. Two more colors, guys. We're almost through the palette. This next color is a darker shimmer pink. Okay, that kind of looks like the Queen of Hearts palette, color, one of their colors. And the last color is the color that I did use in my last, my Caribbean look. I don't even know why I named it Caribbean. I think because of the dress I had on it. It had nothing to do with what I was doing. But, yeah. All right. So we are done with the swatches here. Okay, now, my overall thoughts with, of course, you know I'm going to talk about the fallout. And the pigmentation. Because it seems like you would have to do a lot of work if you are my skin tone or darker to kind of get it up. up. This color, sorry, this the last color right here. It um it seems like it's the darkest of the colors, but um oh and that um shimmer, this shimmer pink one right here, uh came out the most pigmented, but um overall. This is not, I don't know, maybe like I said, if I fix plus it, you know, and got better, different results, then I would say, okay, yeah. But other than that, this is not a palette that I'm, I know I'm going to pull to. And especially with the fallout, because I don't, I do my, since I do my foundation first, you know, I don't want to have to do all that cleanup around my eyes. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all get me? Feel me, feel me, feel me. All right, but those are the colors, guys. All right, so tell me, would you get this palette? Let me know in the comments below. All right, have a good one until my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.